the consistent um, thread in his work is more one of um, his interest in the materiality of paint, um, his interest in particular themes um, of everyday life, in particular the music hall and pop popular culture, um, and his constant exploration of different ways of um, depicting um, the image. He would sketch um, the drawings um, from the subject and then work them up in the studio and he would square them up so that um, he would transfer the composition very faithfully to the canvas. And in some works you can actually see the numbers where um, he's kind of done one, two, three, four, five for the different bits of um, the squares that he's transferring over. thinks of himself as a European rather than a British artist because he was half German, he was born in Munich, he lived many years in France, spent considerable amounts of time in Venice um, and you know um, although he established his career in England um, both at the very start of um, his work and at the very end um, he always has that link um, to European art. So I think, yes, the travel is important for him. The inspiration comes through both the idea of seeing um, a nude figure in an everyday interior, you know, just on a bed, rumpled clothes, iron bedstead, um, rather than the kind of mythological figures which were much more common in um, British art at this period of what we would see at the Royal Academy, for instance. Um, but also the idea of a kind of realism of the body where the nude isn't kind of idealised or prettified. They, they feel like real women.
the, the room full of news is actually very provocative, even for that time, I think. And even today, we'd look back and go, oh, wow, this is really... And, you know, with looming men standing over, sort of like women laying on the bed, it gets this kind of very sinister, dark undertone. And I think that is one thing you see in a lot of his works, this kind of sinister sense of darkness. And um, it also makes unsettling. It makes you feel unsettled. And that's a really powerful impulse. And that's what I really got from a lot of the paintings. This is a talented painter, but I never really understood the full diversity and depth of his work. So when you come to this show, you will see like people frolicking at a beach. You will see a shot of St. Mark's Square. Then you'll see a gloomy shot of theatre and then quite provocative nudes. You realise this man could really paint anything. <laughs> 